Yeah, very good morning, children. Today we are going to start with a new chapter, electricity and its circuit. At the end of the chapter, children, you will be knowing the proper differences between conductor and insulator. And what do you mean by electric current? Is that electrical conductivity same as that of the electric current? And uh, will the impurity affect the electrical conductivity? And uh, what do you mean by electrolysis? And one of the major application of an electrolysis is electroplating. Conductors and insulators. So the material which allow the electric current or heat to pass through that material we call it as an conductor. So the opposite of that is an insulator. So that resist the electric current or an heat to pass through it. Before I move on to one major differences between conductor and insulator, let me tell you what is a resistance. So it is a property of all the material that oppose the electric current. Okay. Uh, so conductor is the one that allow the electric current. In such case, the resistance of the conductor will be less. Whereas the resistance of the insulator will be more. Because insulator will oppose the electric current to flow through it. When we see the differences between conductor and the insulator, like as you know, the substance that allow electric current to flow, we call it as in conductor. And the substance those are, doesn't allow a current to flow through it, we call it as an insulator. And the electrical resistance of a conductor are very low. Uh, in insulator, it is infinitely very large. There are large number of free electron in conductor. So this free electron will be continuously moving uh, around the material when the electric current starts flowing. Whereas, whereas in insulator, there are, they do not contain any such free electrons. Usually, metals are conductors like silver, copper, aluminium. Whereas the non-metals are insulator, wood, rubber and plastic. So these are the basic important points between the conductor and insulator. And better idea about the electric current, we must understand the basic behind that. So atoms. So atoms are the sub part of a matter and it usually consists of subatomic particles. There are three subatomic particles, proton, electron and neutron. So this proton will reside inside the nucleus and it is tightly bonded and this proton are positive charge. You can see in this diagram, the center part of the uh, electron cloud model is called as an, this proton. Positive charges are the proton and the yellow one we call it as a neutron. That's, this neutron also will be inside the nucleus and uh, it doesn't have any charge plus or minus. Okay, it is a neutral one and the electron will be going around this uh, nucleus. So the electron will be outside the nucleus and uh, they are weakly bonded compared to when uh, proton and neutron and uh, they are negatively charged. So when you see here the planetary uh, model. Uh, like a uh, helium. Helium is a second element in the periodic table that has a two electron. Atomic number is two. That means there are two electrons that are revolving around the nucleus of an helium atom. So these electrons, when they start moving, that constitutes an electric current. Children, in this video, we have learned what is the basic differences between conductors and insulators. And uh, we have come across with a new term called resistance that resists the flow of a charge or oppose the flow of an electric current. And then we moved on to an atom. So these subatomic particles are responsible for the electric current. Thank you.